What is the most awful thing a man has ever done to me post breakup, but also the most just romantic? Listen to what she's going to say. I'm about to tell you. I dated this man for a year, nine years ago, and still to this day, he is the best boyfriend I have ever had, hands down. The hold that this man had on me, like I really until recently would have dropped everything to be with this man again. He was one of the most romantic, thoughtful, sweet, like all of the above boyfriends I think I've ever met in my life. It's really funny that women have the best boyfriend and come on TikTok here and complain about it. Anyways, let's move. On his days off, if I was working, he would come to my work, grab my car, like wash it, clean it, fill up the tank, and then bring it back. He was always just doing like the most grandiose romantic gestures, like leaving notes for me, writing letters to me, giving thoughtful gifts, the absolute the absolute most like just worshipped the ground i walked on i don't know about this guy but he sounds like a sim for doing all that for you of course you should treat your woman good but don't make her your priority man the moment she realizes that you make her a priority and get everything that she wants that's the day she's going to lose attraction to you and lose of love and I am being 100% honest when I say I totally took it for granted. I have no idea why this man stayed with me or loved me so much because I was terrible to him and like just thought it was a given that a man does these things. Like Bruh. now I'm like, are you fucking dumb, Camille? Yes, I am. I'm stupid. One of the most thoughtful gifts he gave me for my birthday one year. Well, I guess we were only together one year, so it's one year. Anyways, the, the most thoughtful gift he ever gave me was like an Eiffel tower themed gift the reason this is important is because i have collected eiffel towers like my entire life who the hell cares i know it sounds so cheesy and corny and like don't come for me it's cheeky as hell but i swear there's like there's like a reason it's not just because i'm corny i swear to god anyways he gets me this gift it's so sweet i like basically cry when he gives it to me like honestly the most thoughtful gift i've ever gotten it's just as I said earlier, when a woman sees that you'll do anything for them, they take it for granted. And they say they never change and he'll do anything for me, everything I would, I would want. So if you want to start a relationship, don't spend another second with a woman that will treat you like shit. Don't appreciate or every time complains about herself. And for the single man, if you see this in a woman, don't even bother wasting your charm on her. We break up like six or seven months later. The breakup was absolute hell. Like, we were so tumultuous. We kept trying to get back together. We kept hooking up. Like, it was just like, it was first love type of where it was just like extra toxic. And we were just both so heartbroken and like really wanted each other back but couldn't figure out how to make it work. We went like a good six months doing that. And then the following six months, we just didn't really talk or like communicate. We were trying to be healthy. So a year after we break up, this is around the time the explore page on Instagram becomes a thing. I'm on the explore page and I see this man, the love of my life, with a half sleeve tattoo, like half of his arm, covered in an Eiffel Tower with Mazzy Star lyrics right next to the Eiffel Tower. No, no, no. I text him. I'm like, oh, this is my end. Like, I can get him back. He still loves me. He told me the tattoo didn't represent me. <laughs> Props to him for realizing his worth. I bet this guy turned into a F boy after that breakup. After a woman about these days complain about this boy, she's the one who made them. This guy was so nice to her and she took it for granted. And he expects something back in return. I know what she was trying to do right here. She wants to have fun in phase in life and wants to get back once she's all done and all tired and not pretty anymore. Don't pay attention to this kind of shit. That was a hot mess inside a dumpster fire, inside a train wreck. I'm having a bit of a tough day today, so I thought that I'd share that. Even though I'm the person who initiated the divorce, I'm feeling some jealousy because my ex is really out there working it. Not necessarily that he's looking for a girlfriend but he's definitely working on building his social network and that includes women 
And even though I don't want to be with him anymore in that way, it still triggers jealousy and pain. Still triggers jealousy and pain? What are you all about? You're the one who fought for divorce, so deal with the consequences. Women amaze me honestly when they see a man that's doing well for himself, they feel a certain well, just like she knows she got no control over him and thus this is her off. They don't like seeing men do good for themselves and don't like to see them moving on. It's my ego saying, you know, I'm being replaced, I'm not important. Yeah, I'm glad that you're realizing it. But even if you do, you're not gonna move on, are you? You see, women like this will do anything to make your life miserable. It's all about them. They're always putting out the victim card, and I personally stay away from this kind of woman. And I'm still in Costa Rica because I'm not ready to leave yet. I'm living alone in the house that we used to live together. He moved out. Right now, I'm not focusing on socializing or making friends because I'm leaving in five weeks. So I'm feeling quite lonely. Bruh. And I know that he's out there socializing and doing things, and I know he's suffering and, you know, he's dealing with the rejection that he feels because I'm the one who is leaving. This woman, bro, they're living in a delusion. What he just said right now doesn't make any sense at all. She's so deluded that she doesn't even know it. So you're telling me that your ex-husband moved along with his life and he's still suffering because of you rejecting him? No, your ex-husband is living the best life because he moved on that quick. And that's exactly what any man should do once you are done with all of this. But even though I know all of this, I'm still feeling jealous thinking about him being with someone else. So I just thought I'd share that because it's part of dealing with divorce. So even if you're the one who initiates it, be prepared that you're still going to feel these uncomfortable and unpleasant feelings. Eighty percent of divorces are filed by women, and a lot of men are shocked when it happens. But here's just one of the reasons why. When there's a lot of fighting and anger and bitterness, men feel like their wives are constantly nagging and constantly yelling at them and constantly in a bad mood but we're trying to be heard and we're trying to let you understand and know we're not happy and this is why we're not happy and these are the changes that we want in our marriage and our future no you're not trying to be hurt. You just want to complain, complain for no reason at all this is the game that women play a lot so if you want to be hurt, you have to communicate with your husband or your man politely instead of nagging him all the time if a woman keeps on nagging her man one day he's going to be the one who's going to be filing for divorce because the majority of men want to share a peace and a quiet one and then one day we just get silent we pass you in the hall and smile we sit down at the table and have dinner with the kids and there's no fighting and you're happy about it you should be worried when a woman gets quiet it means we're planning our exit it means we've given up on trying that's exactly what i did i just gave up it wasn't worth it it would hurt too much and so I'm divorced and I'm the one that filed I don't know what to say to you lady but you made your choice it's not of anyone's business live your best life